Good evening, happy Wednesday, happy midweek service, and uh, welcome to the first part of uh, JTD, Joseph the Dreamer, Joseph the Dreamer series. So, uh, uh, so first part, we'll be talking about Joseph the Dreamer comes, and the so second part, we'll talk about Joseph the Governor from prison to palace. Third part, on the third Wednesday, we'll talk about Joseph, the Prince of Grace. And uh, so fourth Wednesday, Joseph, the forgiving, blessed ruler. So let's start. Anyo, I hope no, that uh, one day there will be another Hollywood film about Joseph the Dreamer. Yung a typical blockbuster type of movie na parang Star Wars. Tapos kagawin siyang series, no? Uh, with a handsome leading man, no? tipong Leonardo DiCaprio and that thing. No? Uh, with history, drama, romance, no? adventure, and at the end, yung tipong good will triumph over evil. Typical Hollywood. Pero this time, mainstream. Isa sa mga favorite cartoon na movie na napanood ko yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung Joseph the Dreamer. No? At may meron kayong time, eh, panoorin siya sa Netflix or sa YouTube. Meron um, uh, napakagandang, ano, napakagandang movie para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung story, sa, ano yung naging story ng buhay ni Joseph. May tanong ako sa inyo. Uh, have you ever been hurt by someone you love? Have you ever been falsely accused? Have you ever felt that you've done your very best and it only got you lower? Have you ever been promised a reward and never get it? Have you ever felt alone? Have you ever tempted to take revenge? Siguro some of the questions, pwede nyo sabihin nyo yes. Siguro ibang questions. Yung ibang questions man, pwede nyo sabihin, no, not really. Pero alam nyo yung bida natin ngayong gabi. Si Joseph, nako, lahat yan. Yes, ang sagot niya sa lahat ng questions na yan. Sa gabi na to, I'll talk about uh, three learnings. No? Number one, Joseph is a picture of Jesus one day that every knee will bow. Alam nyo, uh, we will try to compare, kaya nang ginawa natin kay Jonah, we will try to compare si Joseph kay Jesus. No? Kung uh, ano yung mga similarities nilang dalawa. Pangalawa na matututunan natin, gana sa plan. Kahit anong pinagdaanan ni Joseph, still, no, hindi pwedeng mabago. May plano pa rin ang Diyos. No, katulad sa buhay ko at sa buhay mo, may plano siya. Uh, pangatlo, we will learn that uh, we need to praise God no, in all the, in the midst of a chaos. No, kung baga, in the, in the whole way, no, before God will open the door. Yan, pag-usapan natin mamaya. No, may big sabihin yan. So let's start. Ang gagawin natin ngayong gabi, eh, magkukwentuhan tayo. No, uh, balikan natin yung napakagandang kwento. No? Pang Hollywood talaga. Itong uh, kwento ni Joseph the Dreamer. So simulan natin sa Genesis chapter 37. So buksan niyo mga Bibles. So, uh, kung wala naman, meron ako dito ang copy. Pwede niyo siyang sundan. So sabi dito sa so verse 1, Jacob lived in the land of Canaan where his father had lived. No, so alam naman natin si Jacob, anak ni Isaac. Si Isaac, anak ni Abraham. So ito yung mga patriarchs ng, uh, ng Israel. So si Jacob, ang pangalan niya naging Israel. So si Jacob, meron siyang labing dalawang anak na lalaki na naging 12 tribes of Israel. So tingnan natin ano yung sumunod na kwento. Ito particularly uh, sa buhay ni Jacob, naka-focus no, after kasi kwento yung buhay ni Abraham, buhay ni Isaac, and then buhay ni Jacob, naka-focus among sa mga anak niya, hindi sa firstborn. No? Pagkakas si Jacob, hindi rin naman pala uh, firstborn. Si Isaac, hindi rin naman pala firstborn. Kasi meron Ishmael. So si Joseph, hindi rin naman firstborn. Uh, meron kasing Ruben no, na, na firstborn. So, tingnan natin. Na-inspire ako dun sa napanood ko minsan na uh, yung nauso yung Buling El Bimbo. So it's a theater uh, act na 
na hinangod doon sa mga kanta ng eraser heads na siguro kapanahonan namin noon na uh, kaya nakapag-identify ka at naalala mo yung time ng 90s. Uh, nakita ko lang dito na dito sa may sa may uh, sa may theater sa theater kasi pag sa theater meron kasi mga tinatawag na scene one, scene two. So gayahin natin. Ano? So sa first scene ano ba nangyari sa buhay ni Jacob? I'm sorry, sa buhay ni Joseph. So, ito, pinag-usap. Uh, uh, makikita natin dito yung one colorful coat and bad parenting. So, nagsimula yan. No? Yung story niya. Sa isang regalo na napakaganda, napaka-colorful, technicolor, no? na dream coat ni Joseph. Na pinagsimula ng selos at sa tingin ko, eh, medyo may konting sablay dahil may binigyan ng pabor, nagkaroon ng favoritism, nagkaroon ng ingitan. No? At uh, para sa akin, eh, naku, may, may pagka medyo, ano yan, bad parenting ng konti. No? Kasi uh, hindi pantay yung tingin mo sa mga anak mo. So, tingnan natin sa verse 2. Sabi doon, this is the family history of Jacob. Joseph was a young man, 17 years old. Wow, batang-bata. Underage pa pala si Joseph noon. He and his brothers, yun yung mga kapatid niya, the sons of Bilha and Zilpa. Sino to si Bilha at Zilpa? No? Ito yung mga naging concubines no? ni, ni, uh, ni Jacob. So, ang asawa niya kasi si Leah at saka si Rachel. Ang nanay ni Joseph at ni Benjamin, si Rachel. So, no, his father's wives, no, ito yung mga anak, yung mga anak ng mga concubines, no, cared for the flocks. So, Joseph, no, at siya yung kumbaga, bata pa lang, 17 pa lang, eh, may pagka-supervisor na. No? Joseph gave his fa father bad reports about his brothers kasi may tendency kasi magbulakbol yung mga kapatid niya habang nagpapastal ng mga tupak. So, since Joseph was born when uh, his father Israel, no, ang pangalan ni Jacob, naging Israel, was old, Israel loved him more than his other sons. So, matanda na si Israel na pinanganak si, Je si Joseph. No? Uh, Israel, a.k.a. Jacob. Okay? So, mahal na mahal niya. No? Kasi, uh, uh, hindi niya akalay na meron pa siya magiging anak na kahit matanda na siya. So, at saka hindi niya nga akalain na magkakaanak siya kay Rachel. Si Rachel, eh, eh, kumbaga, eh, parang clinically, hindi siya pwede magkaanak. Pero nagkaroon, uh, dahil promise ng Lord, so binuksan yung kanyang, um, uh, kanyang um, sinapupunan at uh, nagkaroon siya ng baby, si, si Joseph at saka si, si Benjamin. So, he made Joseph a special robe with long sleeves kasi nga, medyo, ano may matanda na ako, nagkaanak ako, nagkaanak pa ako doon sa favorite wife ko. Kasi favorite wife na talaga, supposedly yung wife niya lang talaga si, ano, si Rachel. Eh. Uh, kaso, uh, nagkaroon ng problema dahil, uh, anyway, sa kanan natin pag-usapan yun. Ibang, ibang, ibang teaching na yun. So, when Joseph's brothers uh, saw that the father loved him more than he loved them, they hated their brother and could not speak to him politely. So, lagi nilang pinabastos, lagi nilang, ah, kumbaga, medyo hindi nila ah, tinuturing na parang kapatid, no? kumbaga, hate na hate nila, kasi nga, yung focus ng tatay nila, nandoon kay Joseph. So, tingnan natin, ano yung nangyari? So, sa scene one, may one colorful coat na pinigay ng tatay niya kasi matanda na siya nagkaanak, nagkaanak pa siya sa kanyang favorite wife. Pagkatapos, a case of bad parenting, nabigyan niya ng pabor, hindi niya napansin niya iba niyang anak, nagkaroon ng selosan, ayun, nagsimula na yung hate. Ako, ingat-ingat tayo, siya nagsisimula ang inis. No? Tangkilin natin ang inis sa puso natin. Kailan lang nakaka-experience ako ng inis sa puso ko. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, tanggalin mo yan. Okay? Ibigay mo sa akin. Hayaan mo ako tumanggal at uh, na mabuhay ka. Ng, 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 uh, in freedom. No? Kasi pagka kasi naiinis ka, para ka nakakulong. No? At na, nakakainis doon yung taong kinainisan mo. <laughs> Nakakatulog na may brain. Tapos ikaw hindi. 
So anyway, ganun yung naramdaman ng mga kapatid ni Joseph. So tingnan natin yung scene 2. Kung baga sa theater, ano yung nangyari sa scene 2? So meron dalawang panaginip si Joseph. Two dreams. So nang naginip siya, dalawang beses. So ano nangyari? Tingnan natin. One time, Joseph had a dream. And when he told his brothers about it, they hated him even more. Lalo na ganit yung mga kapatid niya sa kanya. Joseph said, listen to the dream I had. We were in the field tying bundles of wheat together. Not tying bundles of wheat together. My bundle stood up and your bundles of wheat gathered around it and bowed down to it. Oh, ano ibig sabihin nun, Joseph? No? Sabi ng mga kapatid niya. His brother said, do you really think you would be king over us? Do you truly think you will rule over us? His brothers hated him more, no, even even more because of his dreams and what he had said. Alam niyo siguro, alala ko lang, in comparison nga kay Jesus, naalala ko siguro yung, yung ano kaya reaction ng mga kapatid ni Jesus, ng mga half-brothers niya, na yung kanyang mga, ay yung mga anak ni Mary, at ni Joseph. Ano kaya reaction? Tignan niyo reaksyon ng, ng buong Israel. Diba? Kalahin niya itong mga ito. So, do you think ikaw yung, yung magiging hari namin? Do you think ikaw yung, ikaw yung aming Diyos? No? Actually, tinuya pa nga siya. Nilagyan siya ng uh, INRI. Jesus Nazarenus Rex Iodero. Jesus, Jesus the Nazarene King of the Jews. No, kumbaga, uh, ina na siya. Eh. Uh, parang inasar siya. So, ganun din yung na-experience si Joseph. Inasar din siya. Then Joseph had another dream. And he told his brothers about it also. Nako, ina na dala to si Joseph. He said, listen, I had another dream. I saw the sun, moon, and eleven stars bowing down to me. So, ano to? Yung eleven stars, yung kapatid niya lalaki? Yung sun and moon, yung tatay at nanay niya. Nako, e pag nalaman ito ni Jacob, baka mapagalitan din siya. Pati ng tatay niya. Tingnan natin, ano nangyari? Joseph also told his father about this dream. Sabi ko na nga ba. But his father scolded him. Galit niya. Saying, what kind of dream is this? Do you really believe that your mother, your brothers, and I will bow down to you? Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. But his father thought about what all these things could mean. So, pinag-isipan din ni, Joseph, ni, ni Jacob. Kasi remember, si Jacob is a man of God. He, he believes in God. And nakaisip din siya. Di ba? Pero tingnan nyo, no? sabi ni Jacob dito, What kind of dream is this? Do you really believe that your mother, your brothers, and I will bow down to you? Alam nyo, ito rin yung, ito rin yung maaaring, madalas natin marinig noon pa hanggang ngayon. Do you really think that all people will bow down to Jesus someday? No, especially those people who doesn't believe in Jesus. In Philippians 2, 8, 11, it says there, in verse 9, Therefore God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all other names, that all the name of Jesus, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord with the glory of God the Father. Someday, mga kapatid, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Kahit ano religion ka pa, that day will come because it it was written, you know, that day will come. Kagaya na nangyari kay Joseph. Yung dream niya, kinagtawa na ng mga kapatid niya, nainis yung tatay niya. Pero that day came for Joseph. Pero siyempre, sa chapter, sa, sa part 2 na ating pag-usapan niya. Balik tayo sa bida natin. One day, Joseph's brothers went to Shechem no, to graze their father's flocks. Israel said to Joseph, Go to Shechem, where, you are, where your brothers are grazing the flocks. Sabi ni Joseph, I will go. Joseph answered, I will go. Napaka-obedient. Napaka-obedient. No? Di ba si Jesus, napaka-obedient din, sabi ng tatay niya. Go. It's 
spread the gospel, spread the good news, spread the, uh, spread the love, spread salvation. So then Jesus, I will go. And he went and he saved us. His father said, by to Joseph, go and see if your brothers and the flax are all right. Then come back and tell me. So Joseph's father sent him from the valley of Hebron. When Joseph came to Shechem, a man found him wandering in the field and asked him, what are you looking for? No, inaasalubong siya sabi, sino hinahanap mo? Anong hinahanap mo? Joseph answered, I'm looking for my brothers. Can you tell me where they are grazing the fox? The man said, they have already gone. I heard them say they were going to Dothan. So Joseph went to look for his brothers and found them in Dothan. Scene 3. No. Ito na. Sampung, hindi sampung mga daliri, sampung selosong kapatid. And jealous brothers. No? Ito na. Na isa katupara na nila, yung mataga nilang plano. Joseph sold into slavery. Joseph's brothers saw him coming from far away. Nakita nila si Joseph at dati. Before he reached them, they made a plan to kill him. Oh, this is something similar also to Jesus. When they saw Jesus coming, no? at kinainis na nila sobrang isya, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, no? the entire sudden dream, they made a plan to kill Jesus. Remember? They said to each other, here comes that dreamer. Ayan na, yung mga ay batang mapanaginipin. Let's kill him and throw his body into one of the wells. Patayin natin, natapo natin sa, sa, may, ano, sa may balon, sa may katawan niya. We can tell our father that a wild animal killed him. Then we will see what will become of his dreams. Tingnan natin kung magkatotoy yung panaginip niya pag chinugi natin yan at tinapon sa balon. Ay, grabe, no? Sabi sa batas, ang murder, no? premeditated, premeditated murder, pabigat yung paso. Ito, premeditated, premeditated murder na ito. No? Sa isipan nila. Ay, sabi rin ng Bible, sa isipin mo lang. No? Magalit ka na. Pumatay ka na. So, ito, nagkakasala ni sila. Buti na lang. No? But Reuben, heard their plan and saved Joseph, saying, let's not kill him. Don't spill any blood. Si Ruben kasi siya yung panganay. Throw him into this well here in the desert, but don't hurt him. Ruben planned to save Joseph later and send him back to his father. Alam niyo, naalala ko na nung Pinagpaplanuhan ng patayin si Jesus eh. Si Joseph of Arimitea. Arimitea. Diba? Siya yung, siya yung ano eh. Siya yung part na sa Nadrin. Pero hindi siya nag-agree na dapat pumatay si Jesus. No? At uh, hindi gusto niya sana masagip si Jesus. Pero wala eh. Pinagplanuhan eh. Pero ang ginawa niya nung, nung patay na si Jesus. Kinuha niya yung ano yung yung kanyang labi at nilag nilagay niya doon sa binili niya uh, uh, himlayan. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they pulled off his robe with long sleeves. Naku, naalala ko na si Jesus. Inubaran din siya eh, ng mga, mga Roman soldiers, right? Tapos yung damit niya, pinag, pinag-anuhan pa, no? pinag, uh, pinag, uh, nag-beto-beto pa ata, <laughs> ginamit pa ata sa sugal. No? They pulled off his robe with long sleeves and threw him into the well. It was empty. And there was no water in it. Ang sakit siguro nung lagapak. Alam nyo, na pinanganak si Jesus, meron tatlong magi. Merong regalo. Tatlong wise men. Hindi naman sinabi mga hari ito mga to, pero wise men. May dala silang tatlong regalo. Gold, frankincense, and near. Tignan nyo, may similarity rin na napansin ako. While Jesus was in the well, I'm sorry, while Joseph was in the well, the brothers sat down to eat. When they looked up, 
they saw a group of Ishmaelites traveling from Gilead to Egypt. Their camels were carrying spices, balm, and mirror. Wow. Alam nyo, nakalungkot yung sitwasyon ni Joseph kasi wala ka naman ginawang mali. May kaisa ka ng mga kapatid mo. Eto pa. Since kasundo na sila na hindi ka papatay, bebenta ka na lang. In for 20 shekels of silver. Hmm. Naalala ko rin. Ah. May ibinenta rin, di ba? Judas, remember? Binenta siya. Binenta niya si Jesus, di ba? Hindi oh, ka lang maalala ko. Hindi ata 20, parang 30 ata. 30 pieces of silver. I-google I- I- na lang natin or i-check yung sa Bible niya. Nalimutan ko, sorry. Anyway, balik tayo kay Joseph. So, binenta si Joseph. Binenta sa mga kanina. And Judah said to his brothers, o oh, si Judah, okay, si Judah, ito yung pangatlong pangalay. Si Judah, ang naging, yung tribe of Judah, dyan nang galing yung lineage ni David, yung lineage ni Jesus. Okay? And Judah said to his brothers, what will we gain if we kill our brother and hide his death? Let's sell him to these Ishmaelites. Okay, sila itong Ishmaelites. The mga Ishmaelites, remember, uh, mga Arab group to. So, yung Ishmaelites, ito yung kapatid ni Isaac, na anak din ni Abraham. So, mga pinsan-pinsan nila din ito malalayo. Then, we will not be guilty of killing our own brother. Nagugas kamay si Judah. Napansin ko rin. Ano may naalala ko dito? Si, ano no? Si, uh, Alam nun, si Poncho Pilato. Diba? Nagugas kamay din. After all, he is our brother and our own flesh and blood. Sabi ni Judah. And the other brothers agreed. Kasi magkakapera sila. 20 shekels of silver. So when the Midianite traders came by, the brothers took Joseph out of the well and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 8 ounces of silver. And the Ishmaelites took him to Egypt. Oh, naalala ko si Jesus. Nung baby siya. Dinala rin siya sa Egypt, right? Kami nila similarities na. When Reuben came back to the well and Joseph was not there, he tore his clothes to show he was upset. Ang galit na galit si Reuben, yung pangalay. And he went back to his brothers and said, The boy is not there. What shall I do? Oh, the brothers killed a goat and dipped Joseph's robe in its blood. Ngayon, pagka may kailangan i-sacrifice, napansin ko sa Bible, naging may padugo. Yeah. <coughs> Kaya dati may kumalit na chismis eh, nakapagkada may ginagawang uh, tulay. No? Uh, nangu- nanguha daw ng bata. Tapos uh, pinapadugo. Eh, eh, yung mga urban legend noong araw ng 1980s, 1970s. Uh, kasi madaming infrastructure project nun si Marcos and uh, uh, when I was a kid in the 70s. So, yun ang panakot sa amin. Pero anyway, speaking of padugo, no, naalala ko lang, nung si Lord, binigyan niya, na, na nagkasala si Adam at si Eve, binigyan niya ng damit na yari doon sa balat ng hayop. So, dahil sa kasalanan na meron na matay. No? Kasi kinuha niya yung balat ng hayop, eh, nagpadugo. Right? So, ganun din, no? Uh, si Jesus, nagpadugo. He shed His blood for us. O, ganun din si... si, si para, ma, para ma-signify na patay na si Joseph, meron din pinatay na goat. Then they brought the long sleeve robe to their father and said, We found this robe. Look it over carefully and see that it's your son's robe. Alam niya, syempre, siya ang gumawa nun eh. Diba? Siya yung nagbigay na ako, ang sakit-sakit siguro ng puso ng loob ni Jacob. Jacob looked it over and said, It is my son's robe. Some savage animal has eaten him. My son Joseph has been torn to pieces. Then, jo- then, then Jacob tore his clothes and put on rough cloth to show that he was upset. And he continued to be sad 
about his son for a long time. All of his sons and daughters tried to comfort him, but he could not be comforted. He said, I will be sad about my son until the day I die. Jacob cried for his son Joseph. Ayun, napakasakit. Ako muntik na mamatayan ng anak eh. Uh, nasa hospital na yung bunso kong anak. Sabi sa amin ng doktor, pumunta na kayo sa waiting room, mag na lang kayo. We almost lost her. Last Sunday, uh, I was driving and uh, green light ako. And then suddenly, may mabilis na mabilis green light ako, yung mabilis na nagbit ng red light, nakalagpas lang ako. Kung tinamaan yung likuran ko, nakaupo doon yung dalawa kong anak. Eh, ko lang tayo eh. Ang sakit. Isipin ko lang, napakasakit. Paano kong nangyari nga? Napakasakit nung nararamdaman ng mga tao na nawala ng anak, ng magulang, ng kamag-anak, mahal sa buhay, asawa, dahil sa COVID-19. Napakasakit ang matayan. Kaya nararamdaman ko, no? Yung pain ni, ni, ni Jacob, hindi nga ako namatayan, pero muntik ako mamatayan. Ilang beses, pero masakit na. Paano pa kaya in, inisip ko na patay na yung anak ko? Imagine the pain of a parent. Imagine the pain of uh, our Heavenly Father when He saw Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Imagine the pain and just natin kapag every time we choose to sin against Him. Imagine the pain. Meanwhile, the Midianites who had bought Joseph had taken him to Egypt. So, binili siya ng mga Midianites, the rest of Egypt. There, they sold him to Potiphar, an officer of the king of Egypt, and captain of the Pontus Guard. Kumbaga, ano to eh. Uh, kumbaga si Potiphar. Uh, Commander-in-chief, general. No? Kumbaga. Uh, chief of staff, parang ganun. Uh, Joseph is sold to Potiphar. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. And an Egyptian named Potiphar was an officer to the king of Egypt and the captain of the palace guard. He bought Joseph from the Ishmaelites who had brought him down there. So, nabili siya. Anong ginawa sa kanya? Ginawa siyang worker doon sa, sa responsibility, uh, area of responsibility ni Potiphar. The Lord was with Joseph. Hmm, ganda nito. The Lord was with Joseph. Hindi siya iniwan. Okay? Hindi siya iniwan ng Diyos. And he became a successful man. He lived in the house of his master, Potiphar, the, the Egyptian. So, since si Joseph anointed my favor, kaya ako pa nagpipre ko, Lord, give me the Joseph anointing. Give me the, the favor like you gave to Joseph. Ano yung nangyari? Potiphar saw that the Lord was with Joseph and that the Lord made Joseph successful in everything he did. So kung kayo, ina, nasa inyong Panginoon, nasa inyong Diyos, no? sa trabaho niyo, kung saan mga pumunta, sa school, people will see no? na in teacher mo, yung boss mo, they will see na nasa iyo ang Panginoon. No? At pipigyan ka nila ng favor sa mata nila. Kay believer, or unbeliever. So Potiphar was very happy with Joseph and allowed him to be his personal servant. He put Joseph in charge of the house, trusting him with everything he owned. When Joseph was put in charge, I remember Jesus. Jesus was also put in charge in our lives, right? No, kasi sabi natin, pag siya ang chuper ng buhay, no? Tito ka sumakay. Walang sablay. But he was put in charge of the house and everything Potiphar owned. So para kumbaga, super trusted person tong si Joseph. The Lord blessed the people in Potiphar's house because of Joseph. Potiphar's, 
Potiphar's house was not blessed because of Potiphar. It was because of Joseph. Your boss, your company, your school, wherever you go, it will be blessed, not because they deserve to be blessed, because because of you. I say it. And the Lord blessed everything that belonged to Potiphar, both in the house and in the field. At in Negotia, yeah. So Potiphar left Joseph in charge of everything he owned and was not concerned about anything except the food he ate. Wala na siya ibang isipin pa, kundi kakainin niya na lang. Okay? So, kumbaga, Joseph, ko na bahala dyan eh. Ko naman yung, uh, kumbaga, favored ng Lord eh. Mga tingnan natin. Tingnan natin dito sa chapter na to. Ano yung scene one? Okay. Dito, we need to understand that we need to make Jesus in charge sa buhay natin. So that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless your work. The Lord will bless your household. Kagaya ng ginawa niya kay Joseph. Alam mo, matalino ito si Potiphar. I'm not, I don't know if he's a believer of God or naging believer na siya because of Joseph. I don't know. I don't know kung he remained na masama na, na, na unbeliever. I don't know kung, kung, uh, kung uh, he's mocking God. But there is one thing na napansin ko sa kanya. Matalino siya. Napansin niya agad. Oops, may favor ko si Joseph. Magamit nga ito. Makakuha yung blessing through him. Alam niyo, si Joseph in charge sa bahay ni Potiphar. Binless yung bahay ni Potiphar. Pati yung field niya, negosyo niya, everything. No? And matalino si Potiphar. Kinalaw niya si Joseph. Sige, ikaw ang mag-manage. Kaya kung ikaw matalino ka and you will put Jesus in charge, no? sigurado pagpapalain ka. Stop relying on your own wisdom. No? Gayaan mo si, si Potiphar, matalino. Ginamit niya si Joseph kasi alam niya, si Joseph, si Joseph hindi Lord. Pero alam niya, konektado siya sa Lord. Eh, paano pa to? Si Jesus na mismo, nasa tabi mo. Nung tinanggap ko siya bilang Panginoon Tagapagligtas. Just make him no? the driver of your life. Ayaan mo siya mag-drive ng buhay mo. He'll never go wrong. Palingan natin si Joseph. Joseph, nako, is put into prison. Nako, anong nangyari? Now, Joseph was well-built and handsome. Ano niya na? Parang ako. Joke lang. After some time, the wife of Joseph's master began to desire Joseph kasi nga, kwapo, it's well-built, no? And one day, she, she said to him, have sexual relations with me. Baga, parang may isip ko, Joseph. Joseph, have sexual relations with me. Scene 2. <laughs> May natin pamagat, wife gone wild. But Joseph refused and said to her, My master trusts me with everything in his house. He has put me in charge of everything he owns. There is no one in his house greater than I. He has not kept anything from me except you. Because you are his wife. How can I do such an evil thing? It is a sin against God. The woman talked to Joseph every day. Nako, kala ko naman one time lang to. I- ibig sabihin ko na, Joseph, have sexual relations with me. Joseph, come to bed with me every day. But every day he refused to have sexual relations with her. Or even spend time with her. Ako, sana matuto naman tayo dahil mga kapatid. Alam na tayong mga kalalakihan. Alam ko eh, medyo may kahinaan tayo sa mga ganyang bagay. Huwag natin kalimutan. No? Joseph, run. No? Dito, same thing sa buhay natin eh. Daily, Satan will try to convince you. No? He will make use of beautiful things around us to convince you to sin against God. One day, Joseph went into the house to do his work as usual and was the only man in the house at that time. His master's wife grabbed his coat and said to him, Come and have sexual relations with me. Oh, no. But Joseph left his coat in her hand and ran out of the house. Tumakbo. So, dapat ganun din yung ating reaksyon. Takbo pag nandiyan na. 
tukso, layuan mo ako. And she saw that Joseph had left his coat in her hands and had run outside. She called to, her, she called to the servants in her house and said, Look, this Hebrew slave was brought here to shame us. He came in and tried to have sexual relations with me. But I screamed. Nako, binaliktad na yung bida natin. Nako, Joseph, ma, ma, since ayaw mo, napatulfo ka. <laughs> Naisumbong ka kay tulfo. Sabi niya, my scream scared him and he ran away, but he left his coat with me. <laughs> Falsely accused. Scene 3. Ayan, nasa harapan na sila ni tulfo. No, sabi ni Joseph, hindi ko po ginawa. Uh, idol Rafi Tulfo. Sabi naman nung, ano, nung, nung asawa ni Potiphar, ni Mrs. Potiphar, na po po, eh, gusto niya akong rapein. Ako, your word against my word. Parang ganun. Ay, nako. She kept his coat until her husband came home. Ayan na si Tulfo. And she told him the same story. She said, this Hebrew slave you brought here came in to shame me. When he came near me, I screamed. He ran away, but he left his coat. Alam nyo, naalala ko lang, when Jesus was falsely accused by the, by the Sanhedrin, by, by, uh, by the, uh, ni, ni Anas, ni Caipas, no? ni Poncho Pilato. I mean, ni, ni, same thing nangyari kay Joseph. He was falsely accused. No? Ano yung magandang ginawa ni Joseph? He flee from sexual immorality. Nung hindi na siya nakipag, ah, sige, ah, kasi wala nang, wala nang, ano, wala nang, wala nang palipaliwanag. Napaliwanag niya na nung day one eh. No, takbo na. Kaya dapat, matuto tayo kay Joseph. Let's flee from sexual immorality. When Joseph's master heard what his wife said Joseph had done, he became very angry. Medyo nakilingan yata si Mrs. Potiphar. So Potiphar arrested Joseph. Talo. Talo si Joseph sa pagdinig. Naisumbong kay Tulfo, talo siya. Pero sabi dito, verse 20, so Potiphar arrested Joseph. Naalala ko lang si Jesus. He was arrested that night. No? Unlawfully arrested. Eh, ganun din si Joseph na pagbintangan. And put him into the prison where the king's prisoner were put. And Joseph stayed there in the prison. And he was betrayed by Mrs. Potiphar. Jesus was betrayed by Judas. And he was falsely accused. Jesus was, was falsely accused. He was uh, arrested. Joseph was arrested. Jesus was arrested. Right? Lampot siguro ng buhay ni Joseph. Mahaba na rin ba ang buhok niya? Wala tayo mapagpagupitan. Sige, balik tayo sa story. Doing the right thing and still will suffer. Ito yung nangyari kay Jesus. He did the right thing, still he suffered. Joseph did the right thing, still he suffered. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him kindness and caused the prison warden to like Joseph. The prison warden chose Joseph to take care of all the prisoners and he was responsible for whatever was done in the prison. Nako, same story din to, parang kay Potiphar. Talaga to si Joseph kahit sa madalin, eh talagang favored ng Diyos. The warden paid no attention to anything that was in Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and made him successful in everything he did. Ayan. Galing, ano? Si, jo- si Joseph... Pinagkatiwala ni Potiphar, pinagkatiwala ng warden kasi nakita nga nila na si Joseph may favor sa Lord. Ano yung natutunan natin ngayong gabi sa part 1 sa story ni Joseph? Ang sarap pagkwentuhan eh, yung buhay ni Joseph. Mas exciting yan sa part 2, part 3, and part 4. So, tatlong learnings ngayong gabi, mga kapatid. Joseph, no, kita natin is a picture of Jesus. Ang dami nilang similarities. Pero isa sa pinakagusto kong similarity nila. Sabi ni Joseph, One day, all your knees will bow before me. And it happened. Pero sa totoo lang, mas mabigat yun to Jesus. One day, every knee shall bow. 
Mo darating yung panahon na yan. Lahat ng tao, lahat ng reverend, lahat ng hari, lahat ng presidente, lahat ng mayaman, lahat ng mayabang, lahat ng umapi kay Jesus, lahat ng umapi sa ating mga krisyano, lahat ng mga krisyano, lahat ng hindi krisyano, kahit sino, basta tao, every knee will bow. And that will come to pass. That will happen someday. Number two, we learned that God has a plan. <coughs> si Joseph, pinetray, binenta, naging slave, kinagpintangan, nakulong. Dami naman problema. Still, God has a plan. Sa buhay natin, dami problema. Ang gulo-gulo, may COVID-19, may pandemic. May problema kay sa bahay, problema financially, may problema sa, sa may sakit, may problema sa relationship, ang gulo-gulo. Still, it doesn't change that fact. God has a plan. And we will reveal that plan on the part 2, part 3, and part 4. Lalo na sa blessed forgiving ruler. No? Prince of grace. God has a plan. And He will make sure na makikita mo yung plan niya and after mo makita yon at ma-experience yun, bibigyan ka niya ng reason to praise His name. Number three, we need to praise God in the hallway before God will open the door. Naalala ko lang, pag tumatakbo, nung bata kami, <laughs> kasi <clears throat> uh, pag gabi na pinapapatay ng lola namin yung ilaw, yung problema, pag naiwang bukas yung ilaw sa baba, no? Sabihin sa ng lola mo, hate na hate ko yung sabihin niya. Patay may ilaw sa baba, mga tipong alas 6 ng gabi, matutulog na. No? Eh, takot ako sa dilim ng bata ako. Sa gagawin ko, tatakbo ako, sisigaw ako, ah! para pampalakas daw ba? Ah! Sa marating ko yung ilaw. Ah! Pagpatay, mas malakas yung sigaw ko pagbalik sa taas. Ah! Takot ako kasi baka may multo eh. Pero alam niyo, Ganun din, ano, pagdadaan kasi sa hallway. Sa isang building, iba parang nakakatakot kasi patay yung ilang. Mas parang walang door or sarado yung door doon sa dulo na dadaan. Ano. Minsan, ang dami natin tao, tutuloy ko ba dumaan dito? No, makinig ba ako sa lola ko? Susundin ko ba siya? Pero sabi dito, we need to praise God in the hallway. Joseph was able to praise God in the hallway. Madilim, magulo. Si Job was able to praise God in the hallway. Madilim, magulo. No? Until they saw the Lord open the door for them. Okay, sabi nga ng mundo, meron daw light palagi sa end of the tunnel. Para sa akin, in a biblical perspective, si Jesus yung light na yun. Because He's, you know, the light the light of this world. So, yun po magtatapos ang ating uh, part one, Joseph the Dreamer, but Joseph the Dreamer comes. Okay? Next Wednesday po, pag-uusapan natin si Joseph naging governor from prison to palace. Diba? In last part natin, nakulong siya, nakulong pa rin siya. Usapan natin ano nangyari sa kanya. Tapos, sa part three, third Wednesday, no? Uh, Joseph, the Prince of Grace. Wow, ano ibig sabihin na ito? Sino yung pinatawad niya? And part 4, Joseph, the Forgiving, Blessed Ruler. Ako, ano yung naging blessings ng Israel? Because of Joseph. Ayan. So, nagkaroon ng blessings si Potiphar, nagkaroon ng blessings si Warden, nagkaroon ng blessing ito sa part 2, itong si Pero. Nako, meron pa, makakareceive na madaming blessings. Napakadaming blessings wala sa Lord through Joseph. Kaya ikaw, magiging mabuti kang krisyano mo pagmahal sa Diyos, obedient sa Diyos. Maraming marinisil na blessings sa mga tao sa paligid mo because of you and through you. Alright? And uh, next, uh, this coming Sunday po, please uh, join us sa aming Sunday service. We will talk about no topic natin, Ten Commandments. And so, i-revisit natin yung Ten Commandments. So allow me to pray for you as we end. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for this beautiful evening. Thank you, Lord God, for your teaching, for your wisdom, for comparing the beauty of Jesus 
to the beauty of Joseph. Thank you, Lord God, for reminding us that someday every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And we, want, and we wish to, Lord, to accept you as our Lord and Savior now. And uh, we repent of our sins, Lord God. We, ded we dedicate our lives to you, Lord. Lord, thank you for you have a plan always for us. That uh, in every chaos, in every darkness, there will be light. You have a plan for our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for teaching us to be brave, to be courageous like Joseph. And uh, to see through uh, at the end of the tunnel, Lord God, that you will be there waiting for us, opening the door. And we'll say, well done, my faithful servant. Lord, we love you. We thank you for your, uh, this uh, evening, Lord God. And uh, we, 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 uh, we pray for blessings for all our listeners and, uh, and our, and our, uh, our uh, viewers, Lord God. Bless our church. Bless all the churches, Lord God. Bless all the people who are watching this uh, video, Lord God. We love you. We lift up your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope to see you on Sunday. God bless. Bye-bye.